welcome to this uh, SACAP CAA validation workshop. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm George Henderson from the CAA. I'm based in the UK. I'm on the validation executive as an advisor for the CAA, and I'm a past chair of validation for CAA. And have in, in recent years, I've been heavily involved in the development of the Canberra Accord. I just want to introduce my fellow contributors, Starting on my left with Mr. Phil Mashabani. I think many of you will know him. He's president of SACAP. He's a well-known practitioner. Over in the center of the populace, Professor Gerald Stain, who's an academic here. Uh, sorry, not here. We're, we're in Bloemfontein, but in Pretoria. Um, and he is chair of the SACAP schools of Heads of Schools Committee and Validation Committee. That's probably not the right title, but it's more or less. All right. Um, and he has been very instrumental in helping originate this, this workshop. Yako uh, Vasafal, uh, representing CAA, he's from Namibia, a practitioner. Um, he sits on the CAA Validation Executive committee which does all the kind of administrative aspects of the international validation. So very experienced uh, practitioner but has considerable experience of looking at accreditation around the world, more recently in Australia and um, in the US and he will be talking about that experience soon. So what's the origin of this event? It goes back quite a way, actually. I would say um, probably the better part of uh, 10 years. I think CAA was concerned at one point that SACAP had visiting boards which were not as consistent as they might be. And there were one or two irregularities which gave us cause for concern. And we thought that one way of helping to reduce those inconsistencies would be to have uh, regular training, regular updating, so that people came together and shared experiences. It's certainly good practice in other accreditation systems. I was exchanging with a colleague in, in Seoul in Korea. They just had a three-day workshop, which they have every year, to just basically share experiences of having what, what has happened as a a visiting board in a particular place. What are the current themes? What are concerns? How can we make it better? And it's, it's that intention, I think, that I would like to come out of this day and talk about them. We've got some other more interesting things we can do which are more workshop-like, which is looking at student work. We may do that as well. Pretend we're visiting boards. But I, I would be guided by you when you've had a chance to reflect on what you hear this morning. Um, I apologize for it being a bit presentation rich, a bit heavy in the formal presentations. It, it seems sensible on the first occasion to at least lay out the stall, to hear what is good practice internationally, to at least give the case from the CAA's point of view and from SACOP's point of view about what we believe good accreditation, good validation might be and what its purpose is and how effective can we be and how sure we can be consistent so that schools of architecture feel confident that when they have a visit, they've been judged fairly. So we'll come back to that uh, later. 